Hello everyone! In this lesson, you will use a model to subtract a one-digit number from a two-digit number. So when we are talking about models, we are going to use the tens and the ones. So the way I like to think about uh, word problems um, or the way I like to think about any problems that we have to solve is by just putting some context to them by placing or adding a word problem. So in this case, we have 33 minus 3. So when I think about it, I have something, which is 33 of something, and then I have to take away 3 of that. So 33, well, I love chocolate chip cookies, so I'm going to have 33 chocolate chip cookies, and I'm going to take away 3 because I ate 3 of them. So the first thing I need to do is to show what I have using my models. So when I am going to draw my models, I'm going to draw the number that's on the top, which is 33. I'm going to do 10, 20, 30. And I have 31, 32, 33. That is what I have. Now I need to see what I'm going to eat or just take away. And what I'm taking away is this three that I ate, and that means I'm going to cross them out. So I'm going to cross out one, two, and three because that is what I ate. Um, then I need to show my work here under the columns. So in the ones place, there's nothing. So when there's nothing, I write a zero. And in the tens place, I still have three tens. So I'm going to write these three tens here. I want you to try on your own number four. Pause the video and try it out. Now let's do it together. Let's remember that what we have on top is what we actually have. And the next number, the one that we're going to take away, is number four, which is what we ate or we just removed. So um, to represent this again, I am going to use maybe chocolate. I, I love chocolate. So I have 91 chocolate. 91 chocolate pieces and I eat four pieces. So how many chocolate pieces do I have left? I'm going to represent again. So I am going to use to write my tens and my ones in these boxes. So I have 91 and 90. It's a lot of it's a lot of longs. A lot. So I'm going to divide them into 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 parts. So I'm going to have one, two, three. Four, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens. So I have nine tens, which represents the tens. Now I need to represent my ones. I only have one. One, one. Wait a minute. So I need to take away four ones from this one. I don't have enough. So what am I going to do? I need to regroup. If that's what you did, you are right. So I'm going to take this 10 from here and I'm going to move it to the ones place. Now this 10 is no longer there. I'm going to place it here as ones. So I'm going to draw 10 ones. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's right. So if you had this, you were right. Now I need to represent this here in my in the in this form that I have the vertical form how I have my numbers so I don't have this 10 anymore so I'm to show that I don't have that 10 here I only have I don't have nine tenths I have eight tenths and this one is no longer a one because we added 10 more here in the ones place we regrouped them so if I were to count them, I have 10, 11. I have 11, so I'm going to write that here on top. So that's what I have. What you see here is what you see here. The next thing that I need to do is do my subtraction. So I am going to cross out, like I did over here, whatever I need to take away. So I eat four chocolate, four chocolate pieces, so I'm going to cross them out. So let's cross them out. So it would be one, two, three, and four chocolate pieces. Let's see how many chocolate pieces I have left. 
or how many ones I have left. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is the number that I'm going to write in my ones place. So I have seven in the ones place. Now how many tens do I have left? Well, in this case, there's no tens at the bottom, so I can see that I only have eight tens left. So you see, that is how you show your work using your models and there's a clear picture of why you have regrouped and why you needed to regroup in this case you didn't need to regroup so it's always good to show your work if this video was helpful please share it with your friends i hope it is useful and you can show your work now